Hey guys, Izzy here, and today we are playing Cooking Companions Appetizer Edition. And if you don't know about this game, which I first found on Steam because it was a free game, and I was intrigued because one of the tags was horror. And I'm like, this doesn't look like a horror game. It's a little cute game with that little lettuce boy, but I have seen videos about this saying that it is a horror game, so I wanted to do a horror game because Halloween is tomorrow and I'm so excited for Halloween. Oh my gosh, I'm dressing up as Katara from Avatar Last and Airbender if you wanted to know, but I wanted to do a horror game for Halloween and my mental health is not well enough to do one of those thriller other horror games so i was like oh this one seems like it would be fine hopefully it's fine because i am playing this at night i'm kind of scared but there are multiple endings and i'm hoping we can check them out in this video so let's get into it and here we go this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed do you wish to continue i am not a child I can be easily disturbed sometimes, it depends. I get nightmares easily, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's okay. Oh, is that a squirrel? What is that on his shoulder? I hate to say it, but you really outdid yourself with that stew. What do I press? This? Oh, the seasoning was superb. I tasted dill and something else. Did you grow the herbs yourself? Um, I don't really know how to cook that well. You have to share your recipe with me. I could really go for forts. Is anyone still hungry? Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. You could hold cooking classes here. Oh, that sounds fun. You'd be extremely successful if you forage for local produce. Was anyone listening earlier? I'll have the rest if nobody else is hungry. Gregor, thanks for cooking again. And sorry, dishes aren't my thing. Oh. I made the food, why do I have to clean the dishes? Oh, the four seem stuff as they clear out of the kitchen. Do I have to do all the dishes? I made the food. You look at the pile of dishes and your mind starts to wander. To where? Oh, uh, the cabbage is talking to me. Is that normal? Let's play hide and seek. That sounds much better than doing dishes, honestly. If a cabbage started talking to me, I would go along with whatever it said. There's five of us to find. Okay, are all of you food? Can you find all of us? Are they all cabbages or are they all different types of food? The red-haired woman should know where the basement key is. I have to go in the basement? Is this my house? I'm not going into the basement of another person's house alone, okay? That's like the first rule of horror games. And I bet one of us is hiding down there if... I have to look in the basement. I'll, I don't want to be a seeker. I want to be a hider and I'm not hiding in the basement. She's whittling something in the rocking chair right now. So watch out for that knife. Oh. Probably best to avoid the knife. Yes, I'm scared of knives. As the leader of the chompettes, it's critical we all escape at the same time. Escape? Escape? So please don't forget any of us. Good luck. What? What do I have to do? Cabbage rolls away and tries to hide. Maybe now is a good time to speak with the red-haired woman? I don't want to talk to anyone now. I just want to go because this is a little weird. Oh, she has a knife. Looks like she's just slicing away at a block of wood. As long as you only slice the wood and not me, I'm okay with that. Cabbage was correct. The knife looks sharp. Yeah. Can I help you? Is it... Does that mean Karen? What are you whittling with that knife? A wooden knife. A wooden knife doesn't sound very practical, honestly, to be honest. Do you want one? I would like, yes, I, oh. I mean, if it's wooden, I can still defend myself with it, right? <laughs> you need anything to defend yourself in horror games. Behind schedule right now and you're wasting my time. Oh, um, okay. You think Karen will remember that? Oh, did I just do something wrong? Didn't you leave it in the kitchen? I had the basement key. I don't remember going in the basement. You can't remember. Oh, that's a little suspicious. I haven't seen the key. So, uh, good luck with that. Oh, you're no help. Maybe one of the chump hats has it in the kitchen. You decided to check out the kitchen. I was just in the kitchen. Thankfully, there's not too many places for a cabbage to hide. 
Where do you want to check first? I feel like it wouldn't be in the cauldron because they would be scared of getting cooked. Behind the wood pile. There's nothing but cobwebs. Thankfully, no spiders. Good. I'm gonna check the cauldron because I thought it would not be in there, so. He hears some rustling around. Oh, there we get. Oh, there she is. There she is. Ah, oh, you found me. Well done. As leader of the Chompettes, you don't need to convince me. I'm coming with you. Wait, where are we going? Cabbage has joined the party. Can I control the cabbage? Four trumpets to go. I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. Just straight up saying that. Okay, I'll ask the, where the basement key is. Of course, right in that nasty oven. The brick oven? There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. Uh, what you doing, cabbage? You found the basement key. Uh, why am I excited about that? I don't want to go in the basement. There it is. Aren't you going to wash your hands, though? Cabbage almost guilts you into washing your hands. Well, I mean, washing your hands is very important right now in our- in the state of our country. So, good job, Cabbage. Almost. That's disgusting. Wait, I didn't wash my hands. I don't want coal all over my hands. Let's focus on the mission ahead. Finding the Chompettes. I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. Maybe that's a good place to search first? Probably? Great, I'll meet you there. Cabbage rolls down the hallway. Will she lead you to another chompette? I don't know if I trust Cabbage. Huh, radio? There's a, I don't like those sounds. I just got the chills. You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Why is it on the ground? Did someone leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Hmm, seems to be broken. Maybe you'll pick a signal up when you're looking around the cabin. Better hold on to this radio. You got the strange radio. I don't want to hold on to a strange radio. I just got the chills again. Time to see what Cabbage found in the bedroom. Oh, those look like Minecraft beds. Original Minecraft beds. Oh, thought you'd still be fending off that glutton Gregor right now. Who's Gregor? I found a book under one of the beds. Do you know what the cover says? Wait, he doesn't know what the cover says? I know it's only two words long, but I can't make out the title. Wait, he can't read? I won't guilt him, but... Ah, uh, yes, Cabin Cooking. Terrible title. Al alliteration is so childish. I love alliteration. Speaking of cookbooks, what's for lunch tomorrow? Maybe I can forge a special ingredient for you. You tell him. Interesting. I think that will pair nicely with Wild Yarrow. I'll go look for some around the cabin. Okay. Talk to you later. Is there another Chompette in here? You unlock the Anatoly, uh, Ana Anatoly profile in the extra, oh, okay. Well, time to find onion. Oh, I didn't even know I was looking for an onion. Onions are smaller than a cabbage, so this might be more difficult. Let's look in the mice, mouse hole. The mouse hole, the mouse hole. That's not even an option. Inside the bird cage, I can see right through it. Um, nightstand. Oh, that was first try, guys. That was nice. He is here. Don't be a crybaby. It's just me. Onion. No matter what I look like, I assure you, I'm sweet. Like the onions and holes. Honest. Did uh, you sprint here? No. You're drenched in sweat. That's not a good sign. Could smell you coming a mile away. Gross. I don't have a nose. Okay. But if I did, would probably lose my lunch. When's the last time you had a bath, Stinky? Oh, wow. Don't answer that. I took a shower today, okay? Just join me in the boiling water sometime. That doesn't sound fun, even though I like hot showers. Boiling water does not sound nice. Really loosens the meat off those old bones. Is this onion gonna cook me? I'm kinda scared. Got a fun factoid for you. You know what's good for a sore throat? Me, onion. I don't like onion, like raw onions. Shop me up and mix me with. I'm not giving you the answer here. Then why would you tell me? Uh, I'm buzzing with excitement. Oh, mix it with blood. Honey is always good for sore throats, I know that. Yeah, I got it right. That's correct. The so sulfuric compounds help soothe your throat and the honey just tastes great. I don't like honey. Of course I'll come with you. 
Onion has joined the party. Glad to have you join us, Onion. No problem. There's nothing else to do today. He's telling the truth. I love going to cabins, though. There's always something to do. Go on a walk. I heard bread making noise. Oh, I, I love bread. In the living room? You know how loud he can get. Bread? The one and only. Chompettes. Let's move out. Your party is quickly expanding. Three chompettes left. Um, the radio turned on. Looks like the strange radio picked up a single. Is it counting? You're not sure what the purpose of this broadcast is. You were hoping the strange radio would play upbeat music or something, yeah? Oh well. No use focusing on this right now. Oh, that's Gregor. I was looking everywhere for you so I can make you more food or what? I already licked some of the bowls clean, so need to wash them. Wouldn't want to waste anything, right? I'm a growing guy. You're an old man. Growing only in one direction. Thanks for cooking dinner for us today. Gave all of us time to work on our hobbies. Karen with her whittling. And uh, uh, Natalie with his herbalism. Mariah with her studies. And me? I'm just here for the food. Honestly, me too, dude. You should uh, double the recipe next time. Just so none of us go hungry later. Terrible idea. <laughs> Anyways, going to check out those beds. Sleeping on the couch has been killing my back. Later. The couch looks like a good bed to you. Hmm, bread. I think about that a lot. Where do you want to check first? Under the couch, the bookshelf, inside the- Inside the mouse hole! Oh yeah, I'm so good at this game. Found me! Everyone's secretly favorite chomp at bread. Honestly? Yes. Don't you loaf me? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin Cornbread taught me that one. He has hundreds. No, thousands of terrible puns. He's my role model. <laughs> so, what do you need? You tell Bread about gathering the chompettes together. That's a pretty crummy idea. Remember what happened last time? No. With potato? Oh, potato. I mean... You're going against the whole grain here. You really want to help us out? Hmm. I'll come with you if you pass my culinary quiz. You've always been good at cooking stuff, so this should be a piece of cake. No eyeballing measurements today. You're being exact. No dashes, shakes, or just just a touches here. Wouldn't want to ruin this recipe, right? This is a math quiz. Oh, I can do this. Here we go. One fourth of a teaspoon is 1.25 milliliters. My special bread recipe calls for two teaspoons of salt. How many milliliters would that be? Oh, I already forgot the original one. Um, six. You know what? I got that wrong. That's wrong, but your heart was in the right place. I'll come with you. What was the answer? What was the answer? Bread, welcome. Glad to have you on board, bread. Of course. Let's go find raspberry. Oh, raspberry. This is making me hungry even though I just ate dinner. I had spaghetti. I think I heard her over by the basement door. No, no, not the basement. Perfect. Chompettes. Mosey out. You have three chompettes in your party. Two more to go. No, not the radio again. This sounds similar to the broadcast from before. Pretty annoying. Do these numbers mean anything? I knew it was numbers. I knew it. Probably not. Uh, I think they do mean something. Oh well. You're not gonna look into that? Maybe someone knows how to repair this thing. You head to the basement door. That's not a good idea. Oh, hello. Oh, didn't see you creeping up behind me. Why is a Deadpool on this door? That's some high security for a cellar full of beets and potatoes. Or maybe it's hiding something else. Like a deep dark secret that's what i'm afraid of you shrug ha 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 i don't care what karen says you're funny see you around karen doesn't like me apparently she's here oh that was easy the birds outside turn silent why i just got the chills you could hear a pin drop no not the heartbeat not the heartbeat you can almost hear her breathing what you feel the sudden urge to scream. Yeah. You can't sneak up on me. Why is she getting bigger? Don't ever try that again. Um. 
I feel like there was about to be a jump scare right there. And I almost got it. Surprise, found you, Raspberry. Oh, wow, it's very nice to see you, Cabbage. Okay, so she's nice to Cabbage, but not me. We wouldn't leave you behind, Raspberry. Honest. We need your help finding Potato. Our combined trumpet detective skills say he's in the basement. Oh, yeah? Do you have the basement key? Yes, here it is. Fantastic. I helped find it. Doubt that. Oh, so you were trying to find Potato. Why would you want to find him? Because they told me to, okay? I take it you've met the red-haired woman. Be very, very cautious around her. Yeah, she's a little scary. If you're not careful, she'll bury you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have any other puns or play plays on words. If you're ever in a jam though, just let me know. I got your back. I don't think you do. No recruitment quiz? She seems very excited to come with you. You throw up in your mouth a little bit? Oh, because of the pun. It's settled. I'm coming with you. Raspberry has joined the party. Yay. One more to go. And he's in the basement. The basement is already unlocked. Uh, it was dead bolted before. How was it unlocked? No, I just got the chills again. Let's go find Potato. Oh no. It started raining outside again. You feel a knot in the pit of your stomach. Yeah. It's just a staircase. No, it's to the basement. I trust Mariah. Can she come down there with me, please? Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. No! 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 That's a lot of stairs. You sound- the sound of dripping water echoes up the staircase. Is this water from the floods? What floods? The walls have changed. What are they saying? It looks like a mixture of dirt and soot. Something is approaching. Okay, I need to mentally prepare myself for this. <sighs> Go back upstairs. Should I face it? <sighs> oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Keep going. You grit your teeth and keep going. The sound of the rain has completely stopped down here. Your vision is fading too. Not the heartbeat, the heartbeat. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You think you can hear something faintly. Oh, someone's banging on a door. Someone's knocking from the top of the stairs. You ignore the distraction, but you've lost track of time down here. No, go back up. Go back up. Why did I tell? Why did I decide to keep going? Your radio turns on. No, no. <laughs> the strange radio seems to be connecting with something from beyond. You're experiencing some serious deja vu. You decide to continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Look behind you. Luna, Luna, hold me. Luna's my cat. I need her over here with me. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's, that image is gonna be in my brain forever. Oh my gosh. Why did I do this to myself? She's right in front of you. Luna, come over here. Um, I'm scared. Run. Run. You run quickly to the staircase. You can feel her breathe on your neck. I don't want to look. I don't want to play this anymore. You make it to the top and slam the door behind you. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. You found four of us. That's pretty darn close to five. We can't move on without Potato, though. After everything that happened... It just wouldn't feel right. You go get her. You go get Potato. I'm not going back down there. I'm never gonna forget that image in my head now. Even if he wasn't one of the original group, we still need him here. Completely disagree. Raspberry's right. Let Potato sit in the basement. Yes. If he wanted to stay in the basement, he can stay in the basement with that girl. Oh, with that girl. He's got company down there. I know. I saw her. I saw her. That's enough. 
Your ranking is A. Nice. A as in awe-inspiring. Well done. To celebrate, we've made your bed. That doesn't sound good. Sweet dreams. Aw, oh, she's mad. Are you going to cook dinner or not? You've been staring into space for a few minutes. Dinner? We're not picky. That's not true. <laughs> I'll literally eat anything at this point. That's not true either. What are you cooking tonight? You tell her. It's your specialty. Cabbage rolls. That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. You take some meat out of the pantry. This meat is severely rancid. You could smell it before the drawer was even open. How much longer is this game? Everyone's noses are sniffling. You gag as you put it down. What is this? It smells disgusting. You sure that's safe for human consumption? This smells familiar. Why would you serve that to us? Maybe it's aged to perfection? You know I'm not uh, into meat. You grab your knife. You sear the meat on both sides trying to get the edges but fumbling a little. Next up is chopping the cabbage. Thanks for adding some vegetables. That's not helping much. This meat is starting to smell better. Why are they just watching me cook? The meat was done cooking. Mmm. Everyone begins to salivate. Hurry up and finish the cabbage rolls. Okay. I can't wait anymore. You can see Karen's knife out the corner of her dress. That is scary. Give it to me. Okay, you get first. No. Karen gets ready to bury the knife into you. Girl, you wake in this cold sweat. Wake up, sleepyhead. Um, what? Oh my gosh. You were having a nightmare. Haven't seen someone thrash in their sleep like that. You must be pretty hungry after all that exploring. Want one last treat? Don't worry, I won't tell the others. I'm scared. I found a dead mouse in one of the cupboards, and I want you to have it. What? This girl's a serial killer. How's that for a big breakfast? You remember the old proverb, right? Appetite comes with eating. Don't worry, it gets easier after your first one. It's decaying a little, but it's still fresh enough to devour. Why, why are you eating rats though? Why? You can just buy stuff from the grocery store. And who is that in the corner? I'm scared. You're going to love it. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can't look. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that would happen. Thanks for playing. I don't think I can do another ending. At least not tonight. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight, guys. Why is there still a heartbeat? I thought this wasn't gonna be that scary. And then that happens. You better not jump scare me again. Okay, can the credits end now, please? Did you want a better ending? No, why is it still going? I like your style. Oh. No, I'm done. I'm done. We're going to the title. Okay, guys. I'm traumatized a little bit, but that's okay. Is it okay? I mean, it's Halloween, so. I didn't think it was gonna be that scary. I might be able to add more endings to this, but I don't know if I'm in the right headspace for that, you know? Um, I guess this is the end of the video, cause I can't, I can't handle playing more of this. Even, it was a, it was a good game, but not good for me. <laughs> not good for my mental health, but that's okay. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great Halloween, and don't go trick-or-treating or see other people because coronavirus, okay? Just dress up and FaceTime friends. I'll see you guys later!